Are you serious? Are you serious? You can hear the birds chirping outside here in Ephrata, Washington. Uh, getting ready for Sunday morning worship today. It starts at 10 a.m. Pacific Coast time. We will be broadcasting today's live broadcast or today's church service live from the church there in Ephrata, Washington at Bread of Life. Uh, a lot of folks getting baptized today. It's going to be powerful. Uh, let me just say quickly, we've had two more volcanic eruptions. We've had three volcanoes erupt this weekend, three different places of the world. Mount Etna exploded in an eruption in Sicily. I just reported on Mount uh, Cinnabung in Indonesia. Seven are dead, two are in critical condition, and many are missing. Very serious situation there. And then in Costa Rica, Mount Turaba has erupted. Mount Turaba has erupted featuring thick clouds of ash and smoke rising into the gray sky. Uh, it was a spectacular images of a powerful Costa Rica volcano in an eruption that's flooded the social media. You can check it out. I'll put my son's got some great pictures at his website at Crusader, excuse me, <laughs> crusaderjournal.com. This 3,340 meter uh, Turaba volcano is located in Costa Rica, in central Costa Rica. And so it's about 30 kilometers from the country's capital of San Jose. All right. The volcanic activity started uh, Wednesday, but the first eruption was late Friday afternoon. So in this, this weekend, we've had three major volcanic eruptions. Mount Etna in Sicily, Mount Cinnabung in Indonesia, which is a deadly eruption, and Mount Turaba in Costa Rica. Also, we know there's been the largest earthquake in Australia's history hit this weekend. At, it was 6.2. They downsized it to 5.9. All right. And sinkholes continue to open up in different parts of the world. There's been unbelievable hail that has fallen uh, in different parts of the world. And, of course, lightning strikes. Matter of fact, there was an article written about me in the Express out of the United Kingdom the fact that I brought up the fact that these lightning strikes, thunderbolts that killed over 81 people were apocalyptic signs of the end times. They actually did a very lengthy article about it, and they did a very good article. I actually have to give them credit. Um, and so these apocalyptic issues, is Planet X gravitational pull causing earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, sinkholes, cracks in the earth, and all types of different apocalyptic events. Well, NASA says something's doing it up there, and that Jesus said that the heavens would be shaken. All right? And if you go into uh, Luke 21, and we may preach on this today at our uh, revival here, but here's what Jesus said in the word of the Lord. He said there would be fearful sights and great signs says the in verse 11 this is luke 21 11 he says great earthquakes shall be in diverse places famines and pestilences and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven and then jesus goes on to say in the same chapter luke 21 verse 25 he says and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring and men's hearts failing them for fear, for looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Then shall they see the son of man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up, lift up your heads for your redemption draweth nigh. Now the reason why I'm going to bring up these Today, preach on these apocalyptic signs in the sun, moon, and stars, and on the earth, is as I'm right here in Ephrata, Washington, there are three major mountains all having earthquake tremors simultaneously. Mount St. Helens here in Washington, Mount Rainier here in Washington, and Mount Hood in Oregon. All of them are having earthquake tremors earthquakes 
directly below the volcanic mountain that they are. And as that's happening, them three are shaking. Three have erupted this weekend in Sicily, Indonesia, and Costa Rica. So something biblical is going on with the signs of the second coming of Christ. So if you have an opportunity, you can watch today's sermon. I'm going to preach on these things live. You can watch it from my website at www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. That's www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. Don't miss it at Bread of Life Church, Ephraim, Washington. Uh, it's going to be powerful. 10, 10 o'clock services begin at approximately 10 a.m. Pacific Coast time. That would be 1 p.m. for you on the East Coast. I'll be back with more current world events, how they relate to Bible prophecy. We're living in the last days.